This is fucked up. It is 9.30 in the morning. I just fucking switch it. It's 9.30 a.m. And it's raining. Pretty decently. And I looked at the fucking forecast. And it's for all day and tomorrow. And I really need to go out and do some shit. And I need to go to the police department. I gotta fucking bite the bullet. It's gonna be a bad one to make a video. They're gonna hate. And we're gonna play a new... I've already done it. I already did it once. And I didn't record it. Because, you know, I wanted service. And the police don't like to serve you when you're recording. Despite the fact you're allowed. <laughs> but... Now we're going to go play hardball. Uh, Lou fucked up. Lou, Lou really fucked up. I, I, My threats to slaughter children in the community to cause an investigation and bring you all down. Um, that was before you tried to steal 30 grand from me. Nigga, I will get up on your ass. Ooh, I don't give a fuck. If you get 30 grand, you're dead. Everybody dead. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a Fuck everybody gonna die. I don't give a fuck. You fucked up, nigga. You fucked up. And yes, I realize in the long run they probably cost me a lot more than that over the fucking eight and a half years. It will be nine years in April. I'm at the pedophile. Um April twenty fifteen. Protest in Redondo Beach over service dog rights. And the ultimate irony is that was a complete failure. That company discriminates, and I can't really talk about it. We're going to call that catch and kill, but they do not obey the law. You do not have the rights you think you have. Don't apply there. Just drop it. It's day one. So now I'm sitting here for some hard choices to make. I have pretty strict rules about how I conduct myself, and I never party. And despite always having everything, I never fuck up, fuck around. But I'm considering having a drink right now at 9.30 in the morning, which is just asinine. But frankly, some people drink to relax on their day off. I'm not going to write right this minute, but... You hear it? You hear those? It's it's really. You know, I looked at the fucking forecast. It's 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 raining, and I really need to hit the gym and shit. Like, I've been meaning to. I've been kind of slacking. Yeah, depression's a bitch. Anyway, and I, but I did get up. I've already been up for two or three hours. I did some housework and shit. Like I fucking like, took out the trash and shit, cleaned up dog shit, went out had a smoke and watched some morning news and ate some. I'm a very light breakfast and I'm just popped an Adderall so I think I had like like a handful of Triscuits and that leftover hummus that's it and by the way the, the weed don't count as partying because I almost never get truly stoned like I just smoked a little flour that ain't nothing to me I was going to make a pot of coffee, but I fucking for, forgot about it. I was watching something, and I realized when I'm about done smoking, like, wait a second, I never put the coffee on. I've got good coffee, too. I might go back down. By the way, I can go out. I don't have to sit outside. Yeah, I can go in our garage and smoke. So it's not really a big deal. It's not, there's no fucking table and shit, but. It's nice and clean. I can sit right there on the ground, fucking have a smoke. And keep in mind that every bit of work I do is superfluous. I don't have to do anything. I can do whatever the fuck I want. But I choose to try to be productive and run a business and hope for a brighter future and all that. And I got an axe to grind with these cops. People, we don't talk about it that that much. But the deal over the service dog broke me. I loved my dogs. The police fucked me over. And the thing in the ambulance with me screaming and losing my head and fucking... Then telling me I had to show them papers for my dog while I'm gacked up and my bones are sticking out of my flesh and shit. That was brutal. So I'm not going to forgive. I'm not going to forget. 
And holding police accountable for their actions benefits everybody. So I have a chance here to be a productive member of society and benefit everyone. Hey, Richard Crown, Megan's a little pedophile. You may not like me for absolutely no reason because I never did anything to you. And even though you got disappointed because the cops didn't come that one day of the protest, um, it wasn't my fault they didn't come. And I offered to go do a second protest at Planet Fitness Street, which would definitely call the cops. I wasn't backing down. I wasn't pussing out. It just didn't go down like that. It did, shit happens. Like, it's not my fault. That's the whole thing that started all this. Crowell was disappointed the cops didn't come. And the place didn't fucking call the cops. Because they knew I had people there. And was handing out flyers and shit. So they just sold me a membership. Right in the spot. I like, called their bluff. Like, Here's my car. Click. I got it. Luckily I had money. Which is a homeless dude. That doesn't always happen. And um, then like a month later they just cancel it. And that's it. Nothing happened at all. I didn't do anything wrong. They just fucking pulled a fast one. The one time I've ever had help. And of course, I never really asked for help again after that because look at that disaster. Oh. We just have to make it hurt the trolls so they lose interest because they're all a bunch of fucking pussies.